Pataan Nuclear Power Plant was built in 1976 and it is first in the Southeast Asia and was nearly completed in 1984 under former President Ferdinand E. Marcos Sr. It was mothballed due to safety concerns in the wake of the Chernobyl disaster in Ukraine and alleged issues regarding corruption. Its cost has reached 2.3 billion US dollars and in 2007, Philippines finally completed the 2.3 billion dollar debt that funded the construction. Pataan Nuclear Power Plant is designed to withstand an intensity 9 earthquake and it's located 18 meters above sea level. The roof were also designed to withstand 12 inches of wet asphalt. It can produce 621 megawatts of electricity that can supply at least 10% of the country's total demand. Under an executive order by President Cory Aquino that the plant be maintained until such time, the government can decide what to do with it. The annual maintenance costs range from 40 to 50 million pesos. Despite claims that nuclear power emits less carbon dioxide than coal plants, some argue that BNPP is not an answer to climate crisis, nor an alternative to renewable energy. This is because mining uranium, the fuel used to run nuclear plants, as well as the milling, plant construction, and the commissioning of plants all emit carbon dioxide. Uranium, however, is only available in a few countries. Importing this will not be cost-effective as it seems, as it is subject to price hikes. The electricity prices are among the highest in Southeast Asia, partly because it's dependence now on imported fossil fuels. That means the average Filipino family spends between 10 to 20 percent of their monthly income in electricity. Philippines has uh, for decades now been avoided as an investment destination in Southeast Asia because our, our electricity has either been too expensive or in short supply and unreliable. Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte has ordered his officials to look into the possibility of including nuclear power into the country's energy mix and the possible revival of the Bataan nuclear power plant. It tells the whole world we're ready for nuclear. BNPP has three sister plants that have been running for over 30 years. Exact same design. They are in Slovenia, in Brazil, and in South Korea. But what people forget is that no nuclear plant in the world operates without the blessings of the International Atomic Energy Agency, the watchdog. As of this time, parts of the plant are aging and rehabilitating it would take at least four years and cost at least one billion U.S. dollars. As part of its rehabilitation, over 80% of the plant needed to be overhauled while the rest had to be replaced. President-elect Ferdinand Marquez Jr. is open to reviving the Bataan nuclear power plant. We have been talking with the, with the uh, South Korean ambassador. We have been talking about the offer nila at yung nakapunta na rito ng mga expert na nuclear power para tignan ang Bataan nuclear power plant para makita kung ano ba ang maaring gawin. Pwede pa bang ituloy o kailangan na magtayo ng bago? Uh, what are the things that we will have to do? So, Binuhay namin ulit ang diskusyon na yun. Although they have come before, we will now study their uh, recommendations and their findings and we will see if we can still apply. With all the new findings and technological advancement and successful experiences of countries around the world, nuclear energy holds much promise for our national interest, especially in light of our long-term energy plans, Energy Secretary Kusi said. He also added, while well, using nuclear energy might not be a popular choice, but it is the country's responsibility to look at all options and study for nation building. Whatever energy source our government may choose, we hope that it will be the best response to our increasing energy crisis and may the betterment of the lives of every Filipino people be its ultimate goal.